Okay, the purpose of this demo is to demonstrate the new front-end AP allocations and advanced allocations. So I'm going to go into the AP transaction entry window and bring up a transaction that already exists, a very simple one. Click on the distribution button and you'll notice when the distribution window opens there's now another floating window that pops up for advanced allocations. And you'll notice on this window that we have the ability to specify if we want to allocate the entire distribution or the current row only, whichever row you currently have selected. So we'll go ahead and select all or accept the default of all and we'll uh, allocate the 6520 account as well as the 6630 account. The system does not allocate the payable accounts by default. So I'll just go ahead and click process and it's going to tell me I first need to select an allocation ID. So I'm going to go to the drop down and I'm going to pick one called split one and then click the process button. And you can see what that did is it allocated the 6520 account across uh, five departments and it also allocated the 6630 account across those same departments. Let me go ahead and show you the validation capabilities. I actually need to show you what it's like first to just allocate a single line instead of both. So I'll just um, come up to this first row and select current account only and click process and it just did the one row only just the 6520 and that would be useful if you wanted to apply different splits to different accounts within um, one voucher or one set of distributions. Okay, now let's go ahead and go back to the beginning again and put in an account that I know is going to cause some issues for us. And um, I'll go ahead and process this row, which should be okay. And then I'll go ahead and select this row, the 6661 row, and go ahead and do that. And you notice I get a pop-up. And it's telling me the account that I'm trying to allocate, 6100, has an issue. And the issue is that with this current uh, spread that I have, it would be allocated to these accounts, but these accounts don't currently exist in the GL. So someone would have to go in and add those accounts before you could process an allocation for that particular account. Okay, now let's just go look over at the setup of the spread codes. So we're going to go into the allocation entry window. This is the same window where you define allocations that you run at month end. And we're going to bring up the one called split. And all we did on this allocation setup is simply define the target accounts and the percentages. And you can see when we defined the target accounts, we masked uh, a part of the account string. So that actually comes from the original account that we're allocating. So I can leave this up at the same time and uh, go back into my transaction entry window, back to my distributions, and just have these all open at once here. Go back to my default. And again, I'm going to go ahead and allocate this top row. So what it's going to do is it's going to take this $110 and allocate it 10, 15, 25, 45, and 5%. It's going to take the original source accounts, second segment and third segment, and use those because of the masking that we've set up over here. So again, let's go ahead and process, and you can see the result. And there you have it. Thank you very much.